This channel is dedicated to solving Sudoku puzzles without writing can candidates or pencil marks. Some people call them little numbers, too. Today I will illustrate how to find and use loner cells and identical twins. I'll explain both of these concepts when we get there. This is puzzle number 129 from 1000 plus more Sudoku puzzles by Charles Timmerman. You can get this at, uh, at Amazon or go to funster.com and you'll see it there too. You can print this puzzle to follow along if you'd like to. Click on the link in the description below or go to sudokuprimer.com and look for print YouTube puzzles before you watch on the menu. To get started, you notice there's a uh, offset pattern here. And I explain offset pattern and lots of other patterns in uh, sudokuprimer.com in the patterns section. And the loner cells and uh, identical twins are in the techniques section of sudokuprimer.com. Here's the identical twins link right here at the bottom. But anyway, this is the, an offset pattern, and when you have an offset pattern, look at the column that goes through the middle, and if you have two numbers, like the 3 and 6, that aren't already in here, you have 3, 6 twins here, or you have twins right here with those two numbers, in this case 3 and 6. That leaves 4, 5, and 9 right here, and there's a 4 and a 9 there, so that's a 5. All right, and now um, let's, f I think we can fill in all our ones here. So that's a one. That's a one. One there. One there. One there, and I think that's it. Okay, we've got all our ones. We can put a two in box eight here, and a four in box nine. Now we're missing in column one here, three, five, six, three, five, and six. There's a six there and a six there, so that makes this a six. And with this 6, we've got a 6 there, 6 there, and a 6 right there. Now that we filled this 6 in, remember our 3 6 twins with this offset pattern, we could put a 3 right there, and that 3 makes this a 3 after we filled that 3 in. And then uh, three right there. Got two threes there, and so that three. With the three here, we have ghost threes here, so it makes that a three right there. And then we can fill in the five. Remember our three, five, and six here. All right, now we've got an eight here and an eight here. One of these is an eight, and we have seven, eight twins there also known as ghost eights here, so that can't be an eight. That makes that an eight. And with this eight here, we've got a four here, four here, four here. Makes this a four. And now remember our four nines that we left here. We had four, five, and nine. Filled in the five. With that four, we can put in a four here and a nine there. That leaves seven and eight here. And we're also missing 7 and 8 there. We can't solve those yet. Oh, we got 7 and 8 there too. Okay. Let's look at column 2 here. We're missing 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, and 7. There's a 5 and a 7 there, so that makes that a 6. And uh, 5 and 7 here. That makes two, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, six and nine there. With that six, we can fill those in. All right, and now we've got a six, 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 six. So that makes that a six. Okay, now we've got this puzzle pretty far along. We're starting, starting to get a little bit difficult. Let me illustrate the concept of loner cells and the concept of identical twins. This right here is a loner cell. This is the only cell in box 9 outside of row 9 that isn't populated. So we can look at row 9 here, outside of this box, and see if we can find a number that isn't already in here. If we can, you'll see that it, that it would be that number. So what do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Well, we've already got a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 here. If we had a number out here that wasn't here already, we'd know it went there. But related to loner cells is identical twins. In this case, we've already got every one of these numbers in here. And the only number missing here is missing here. So these are the same number. We know because 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 are already in here. So we know that number has to be the same number as that. Okay, so now that we've found an identical twin, let's see if we can solve it. Let's see what number fits in here. Let's look and see what's missing in this column. 5, 7, and 9. 5, 7, and 9 are missing here. We don't have a 5, 7, or 9 here, so that can be a 5, 7, or 9. Now let's look at this number. Let's see what's missing here. Now this has to be a 5, 7, or 9, and it's missing 7, 7 and 8, you see. But since we have a 5 and a 9 here, we know that has to be a 7, and that makes that a 7, because they're identical twins. They have to be the same number. We could also see that 7 and 8 are missing here in this row, so that's either a 7 or an 8, and if if this is an identical twin, it'd have to be a 7 or an 8, and there's an 8 there already, so we know that's a 7. So we've solved these identical twins, and we can put them in. All right, and now, um, so that's the concept of loner cells and identical twins. Now we're miss you remember we're missing 7 and 8 here and 7 and 8 here. We can put in fill in these two numbers because of that 7 7 8 and then we can fill these in because there's a 7 there so that's an 8 and that's a 7. All right, and with this 7, we know we can solve the 5 and 7 here. That's a 7, that's a 5. All right, now we got a 777. Seven, seven. So that's a 7 right there. And 777 seven, seven right there. So that's a 7 there. All right, and now we've got a 2 and 3 missing in row 5 here. We've got a 3 here, 3 here. So that's a 3. Makes that a 2. Now we're missing 3, 5. 3 and 5 there. With that 3, we can solve those. All right, and now we're missing 5 and 9 here in, in column 9. With that 9 right there, we can solve those. All right, and now we have another loner cell right here. It's the only cell outside of row 6. Or I'm sorry, out of, outside of row 4 that isn't populated. And notice that every one of these is populated. <clears throat> so we can, we can look at these six numbers here and see which one's missing. 
we have 1, 3, and 4 here. 1, 3, and 4. We have a 7, 8, and 5 there. 7, 8. So that's a 5. Now we could have looked in this row right here to see what was missing because it was the only number missing here. But even if these numbers here are missing, we could still um, view that as a loner cell. And sometimes, even though you're only missing one number here, it's faster to scan here than to count all the numbers here. You just have to try it and see what you think. All right, now, um, since, let's see, so we found this 5 here. We had 5, 8 missing here. We can fill those in. And uh, now we're missing two numbers in row three right here. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Here's an eight, and here's an eight. So that's an eight right there. And so we can finish that. And now we've, we're only missing two and nine here and two and nine here. With that 9, we can solve both those. All right, now we're missing 2, 5, and 8 here. This is a loner cell again. We could look for a num the missing number here, but here we've got 2, 5, and 8, and there's an 8 right there. See how quickly I noticed that 8? So I can put that in. I could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But I saw that 8 quickly because I knew these were missing 2, 5, and 8 right there. There's a 2 there, so that's a 5. And that's a 2. And then we have 5 and 9 missing there. With that 5, we have a 9 there and a 5 there. And we got it. Well, I think loner cells and identical twins are kind of cool, especially identical twins. They're cooler than loner cells. But you'll see those quite often in puzzles, loner cells and um, identical twins. Um, identical twins are less common, though. So look for those when you're solving your puzzles, and let me know in the comments if you find them. Well, thank you for watching.